WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently, we've got a mixed bag out here. That mixed bag includes the Dow being down 65 points and the S&P being up 7. It includes the NDX being up 163, with the Russell being down 23. The semis are up three. The trannies are down 123. Yeah, we got a mixed bag out here. Gold's up about six bucks, trading at uh, almost $1,800. Silver's up 11 cents. She's trading at 2420. Lights recruit off a buck 75. The print there, 8288. Natural gas up 27 cents. That's about a 5% move. That is a big move out there. And the 30 year treasury up almost two full points, trading out at 160 and 30 30 seconds. Uh, let's go take a look at our indice charts out here, as we uh, typically do during this hour. Give me a moment to change over to those. And as we do, you're going to have the Dow in the upper left-hand corner. You'll see that yesterday was bar number nine of a TD9 count. This suggests to you and I that price in that oscillator and change line, currently printed at 35,392, they've got a date with each other. And it's that date that's going to tell us whether it's a first date or a long relationship. That long relationship would be a test and rejection of a green oscillator and change line. If it closes below that green oscillator and change line, well, that date didn't work out too well, and price will continue to pull back further. If we take a look at the S&P 500, we've got the same situation out there, TD9 count top that formed yesterday, it's suggesting that price that oscillator and change line, currently printed at 45.16, should test each other. If we take a look at the NDX 100, yesterday it formed a TD9 count top. Today it's going to be the same. This is the bar following bar number nine. We've got a higher high out there that says whatever today's high is, if tomorrow or the next day or the day after that, we see a close above today's high. That's going to tell us about a strong momentum to move to the upside. During the Trader's Ed show, we looked at the volume inside the QQQs on a daily and weekly basis, and they've got the volume to push higher. So we'll see if this TD9 count pattern holds. It's all about really the NDX 100 and the NQs out here. We took a look at the top eight instruments during that show, and it didn't indicate that it indicated that we should see the top four or five want to move higher. Those were the cap weighted stocks. Russell 2000, see, that had its first date. Price right now is trading below that oscillator and change line. That suggests that price wants to get down to the 2244 level. The semis out here, they're targeting that green oscillator and change line. It could be a long term relationship if price holds that 3347 level out there. Hey, folks, stay tuned. David White with the Power Trading Hour. He's up next after that. Tom O'Brien will take us on home. I'll be back with you tomorrow during the Trader's Ed Show live at 1 o'clock. And we'll look forward to seeing you. Have a terrific, uh, wonderful Wednesday, and we'll see you tomorrow.